Good morning, guys. My name is Faith Kaniningila, and I worship in the Cape Frontana's family. My name is Samuel Indete, part of the ushering team. Thank you so much for joining us here today. If this is your first time joining us, do feel loved and welcome. We hope that wherever you are, that you are keeping safe, following government directives and sanitizing. Today we're going to be having a very interesting topic that is faith and hope. Stay tuned as we dive into the word more and more. Be sure to come and engage with us in the comment section. Karibuni sana, be blessed.
So now, uh, just to talk, uh, to talk about what uh, she said, especially in this part, the part of hearing. Um, in the book of James, we encourage to be um, both hearers and doers of the word. So when you do this, 
uh, this the tendency of us getting ourselves in a situation where we, we find that we are uh, we're losing our faith or we are in a situation of hopelessness. If we become hearers and doers of the word, this situation will not uh, be so. So now I just read from the book of James chapter 1, verse 22 to 23, and it says, But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Because if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like someone looking at his own face in a mirror. So in the same, in the same way, uh, for you not to um, lose this faith and to not find yourself in the state of hopelessness, be hearers and doers of the word, because I'm sure and we all know and I believe that the Bible is our manual that will um, enable us to get ourselves out of the situations of hopelessness and, let me say, lack of faith in our day-to-day -day life. And there's this interesting uh, question where we may ask ourselves, maybe, um, is faith and hope really an essential thing to our Christian life? So, um, uh, Angela? Yes, definitely faith is a crucial thing and also hope in life. Um, I have this analogy that faith is the currency of the kingdom and hope is like the way to get there. So, for you to do anything, for anything to happen spiritually, then there must be faith, then it can be manifested in the physical realm. That's my answer for why we need faith and hope in life. In order to just move on, hoping for tomorrow. Interesting. So, uh, just top it up again and say, um, yes, uh, it is. I love you. This is one thing that I know. There is no event in our Christian life that uh, we should put down the understanding of faith in God. And in all events, every event are worth the faith in Christ. So, Anytime, anytime that you find, yourself, you find yourself in the state of hopelessness, remember the faith and the things that you've taught about uh, faith by uh, maybe our pastors and also this summer that we're having today. So um, the second, the action in the third one, yeah. it's um, why can't we do life without hope of faith? Um, there's a verse in the Bible that says it is impossible to please God without faith. Like I've said before, I believe that faith is a spiritual currency in the kingdom of God. Therefore, I'm free to please God, free to interact with God. There ought to be faith. Um, without faith, really, nothing happens in the spiritual. God says that faith without action is dead. So you ought to have faith for anything to work out. Yeah. For me, you know, it's, you know when someone asks me whether these things are really... Um, can we can we do life without the two? To my level of um, knowledge and how God has been um, revealing Himself in my life, I, I tend to tell myself that hey, that should not be the question right now. The question should be how should I increase my faith? How should I not uh, find myself in the in this state of hopelessness? And so to that, to, uh, as I've said, uh, how should, like I've been asking, I've been telling myself that that should not be the question. So now, here's the question. How do we do that? How, how do we increase our faith? How do we uh, help ourselves out not to find ourselves in the state of hopelessness? Mm -hmm. And uh, in that also, just, I think Angela has some interesting um, like guides on how should we, how should we, so. Okay, so I like to read the Bible. Mark uh, chapter 9, from verse 20, and it says, They brought him to Jesus. As soon as the spirit saw Jesus, it threw the boy into a fit, so that he fell in the ground and rolled, foaming at the mouth. How long has he been like this? Jesus asked the father. Ever since he was a child, he replied. Many times the evil spirit has tried to kill him by throwing him into the fire and into the water. Have pity on us and help us if you possibly can. Yes, said Jesus, if you yourself can, everything is possible for the person who has faith. The father at once cried, cried out, I have faith, but not enough. Help me have more. So, um, how do we ensure that we do not lose hope and faith? I think it's going to Christ for help. And even when you feel that you're in a situation which is helpless, which is desperate, 
just ask God to increase your faith like this father did. He had faith in Christ and he told God he does not have enough. So he asked Christ to in increase his faith and Christ did that and healed his child. Yes. That's very encouraging. So now, um, also have like two, I think, of uh, ways on which we can um, ensure that our faith and uh, the hope in Christ is at, at a level where we will be confident with ourselves. So another thing just to uh, just say is, as I've said earlier, it's being doers of the world, you know? Because yes. I can't come to you and tell you about having faith, then you just listen, you just hear the word, you hear the message and just sit there. You have to do something, you have to do something, you have to go read the Bible, you have to um, share what you which what the, this thing that you've learned with others so that you may always because we know we are told that if you learn if you need to something to stick with you something that you've learned you need to share it out with someone else so if you do that you'll always be reminded that by the this story of uh, you have not had faith it's not it's not your thing yeah and, well, um, also to add on to that is that for you not to lose hope and faith, um, we ought to constantly be in the presence of God. So to add on to that, Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Um, so to ensure that we do not lose hope and faith, we must constantly be in the presence of God. We must constantly be studying the word of God, constantly hearing um, the, the, the word of God and the voice of God and constantly just, you know, listening to what God has to say in order to ensure that we continue to keep our faith and our hope strong in God. Very profound. Now, uh, we have a story in our lives where uh, we found that with it, this is where I need to emphasize more on the words. But then we share to it, more of us. So, then who is that? Let me start. No, let me, let me, let me start. So, um, now, now my story is um, not, not long, but the, the, this aspect of hope and faith has really, like it really um, showed itself um, very well. Now, um, back in 2012, it was, I think I was in class 8, not I think, it was actually when I was in class 8, um, I was about to do my TCSC exam. You know, this in is the year that we did uh, the first year, the first go to do TCSC in the month of December. Now, as I can remember, I didn't have, you know, when you, when you, when you, when you say that you're going to do an exam, you have to have all the examination patterns that you need. Oh, yes, yeah. exactly. So this mathematical set, the clipboard, you know, these things were very essential. The pencils, the rubbers and stuff. So now, on my case, you know, like I've said, these are the essentials. Not to me, yes, they were essentials, but now I didn't have them. So now, uh, was I, was I, like, was I uh, hopeless in such, in, in that case, like, or in that situation? I would say yes. But then I didn't allow it to get over me. So what I did, you know, maybe I was, I've been a prayerful person, Tango Kitango. So now, uh, what I did, I never see in prayer. And then, um, you know, the, the day, you know, like the exam is tomorrow. Uh, the, yes, so like today, I just, this someone, as in, after prayer, um, I don't know, God had just answered my prayers. And, uh, this is the people who came to and uh, helped, helped me out. They bought, they bought all the sessions that I've, um, that I've said. And to like emphasize on something, you see this mathematical set. You know, I've been told that we have mathematical set and geometrical set. But anyway, there's this brand, you know, there's this label that we had. It had the equal uh, these two pins, you know, those sharp ones. Then this, the other one, Helix, Oxford. So, to my surprise, um, the people who came through for me, they actually got for me uh, an Helix Oxford set, mathematical set. Mm -hmm. And to me that was a big, like it was such a big thing that the day God has really done for me. And then to talk, to talk uh, that on, they actually went ahead and gave me, like they provided for me the meals, 
for the next three days that uh, we are doing for the KCS, KCPE exams. And now you see this aspect of hopelessness and it just it just vanished kabisa kabisa. I did I didn't have it then. But did I did it just happen because I just sat there? No. I prayed to God. I talked to God about it. I told him that well, this is what no God I'm about to do my exam and I don't have this thing. And he came and to my rescue. And uh, to me that really stood out by then like but I have a lot of stories that also portrays these aspects of hope and faith. Yeah. And in, in that doing, I just encourage all of us. Yeah. The story might not be as mine, but you out there, whatever situation that you're going through or you've gone through, just keep on trusting in God and don't lose that faith. You see that faith that you have, don't lose faith. Don't even, uh, even get yourself. Because if you lose your faith, uh, faith you find yourself um, uh, getting yourself into the level of uh, hopelessness, and then you start experiencing some uh, disorders. Like you see, this like the, yeah. the previous um, what, mental the, health. the mental health yeah. topics that you've had. You know, you might find yourself having some problems with that. So, uh, just to sum to summarize it, uh, don't lose hope, don't lose the faith, keep on trusting in God, and imagine it come true for you. So, with that, I just like uh, Angie to share it, uh, with us. Um, I remember one interesting scenario and we've gone to hospital to pick my shoes but um, by mistake we locked we locked the door of the car and the keys of the car were inside the car. So and the place we parked was the emergency area and um, ambulances would come by that day. So immediately um, we locked the door, guards came and they were asking us why we parked here, you didn't move your car, and they didn't understand that the keys of the car were inside the car. So it was, it was a difficult situation. Um, my mom was stressed out, it was at night, my Shushu, you know, was, on, was in the hospital, she was waiting to be taken home, and it was just weird, and I was wondering, now what do we do? We are all the way in um, Kenyatta Hospital and the spare kids are here in Tengela. So the only option is either to send someone all the way to Tengela to get the spare kids and come all the way back to Kenyatta in, uh, Hospital. So I told God, you know what, God, you do miracles and I need you to do a miracle right now. So I said, I'm going to open the door seven times in the name of Jesus and on the seventh day I'm going to believe that that, that, that door is going to open. And before I did that, everyone else had tried to open all the back doors, tried to shove the windows down to see if they can open. They literally had tried everything. So I had been left beside the car by myself because everyone else had gone. I went to try and maybe find a mechanic or someone to come and open. So by faith, I opened the door the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth, the, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and on the seventh, it miraculously opened and we went home. So um, my faith worked and yeah, I was, I was happy about it. So um, yeah, uh, another scenario is when I was doing my cut, very recently, just before the pandemic, pandemic I was doing a cut and I had not read well for my cut. I could not remember any points. So say 15 minutes to the cut, I got a friend of mine called Christine and I told her, you know what, Christine, we had three handouts and I didn't know which handout to read. So I told Christine, you know what, let's discuss the first handout and see, you know, if you can help me out here and understand a few things. So we read the first handout quickly with Christine and then when the lecturer came in and told us to put our things back, as I was just uh, about to put my handout back in the bag, I read another point. And then I sat for the for the cut and miraculously the first four questions were over from the first handout and the just what I had read before I put my handout was the fifth question. So I went up 15 out of 15 and to, uh, for me that's a miracle and God came through. Wow, wow, very, very nice. So you had our stories, um, and I believe as I was saying earlier, we also have our stories. And um, so, uh, to, what, as you all noticed, that what has stood out is the hope yes. and the faith that we have in Christ. So, in whatever situation, in this time of crisis, 
always don't forget, don't forget that God has got our back and that we should we since God has got in our back, let us hold strongly to him and keep our faith um, strongly mounted in him and his word. Yes. So now uh, with that I think we are good uh, we're good to go and we hope to see you guys on the next series that we're going to have because I'm believing that we're going to have this series over and over until this message gets into our hearts and it becomes part of us. Yes. So now just like add it to the cross for us with the word of prayer. Let us pray. Um, dear God, we thank you for the word uh, that you've enabled us to share. We pray that it makes a difference in our lives and in the, in the lives of everyone who's listening in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So you guys do have yourselves a lovely evening or eyes. Do have a, a lovely evening and uh, we hope to see you in the next Sunday. Be blessed. Bye-bye.